Oh, since it failed the first time, I'm gonna have to do this again. I've already loaded my uh, video in. I go in here. I have a video selection up here, obviously. I come down here, split it into frames, or extract video, and then you split it into frames. I've already done all that. Next, you would come over and uh, pick your colors. I'm gonna, well, first, I'm going to go ahead and use a transparency layer, so I don't mess up my draw my my video and I can come over here and I can zoom in and I'm gonna sample this black here I'll go over to here oh wait damn it sample that go over to here switch to there say his legs are this big this thick See, I want him to be tall as shit. Scary tall. Now, remember with this, you, you really can't mess up. I mean, if you mess up on this, then there's something fucking wrong with you to begin with. This is how you do a Slender Man. No big deal. See how quickly it comes into the view here. Now he looks a little misshapen at the moment. But I can change the size of my brush a little bit, bring it down, and switch to my eraser. And boom. I took them wild. Shoulders off him. Now you can't see these legs yet, but in a minute, what I'll do is let's all switch back to this frame go to my color sample tools zoom in again <clears throat> and pick a slightly lighter black go back to there make my tool a little smaller and I'll throw a little bit of highlight on there to bring out his legs make him look even taller You can throw highlights all over, make his face show a little more. Now I didn't do the uh, traditional Slender Man in the suit thing. This was supposed to be more like the one supposedly in Russia. Let me back up and see what he looks like. That's a big tall dude, but... Now that I have that done, I can go up here to the filters and put a little bit of a Gaussian blur on him. See there? I mean, you can blur him way out. Bring it in a little. I think that's good right there. 
Now he actually looks more a part of the, the actual picture. Now it looks like there's somebody standing there. Well, that's it. That's all there is to making a Slender Man picture. No big deal. It's going to be a few before I actually get the video up. I mean, there's over 500 frames, and each frame has to be done individually. This was just a demonstration to show you how easy it is. I didn't put the tendrils coming out of his back. I didn't do his shadow. But all, all that stuff can be done easily. Very easy. I uh, also plan on taking a few of my old photos uh, from when I was a kid. Old black and white, so I'm going to throw a Slender Man in the background on this just to just to show you how easily it is to make something like that look real so thanks for watching and uh, check out these photos that I did in GIMP that's the GNU image manipulation program it's totally free I'll put a link in the description if you want to download it uh, to get the video plug in you'll have to search YouTube um, there's several tutorial videos on how to download it how to install it and all that so Enjoy.